Ladies and gentlemen, it is that time again. It is the developers discussion for January 17th. And I already see fast equipped artifacts on the side right there. So I'm a little excited, but I'm gonna keep my hopes down. Let's get on through it. So the newest developer discussion has arrived. These will be coming out in the next version, so 4.4. So we have fast equipped artifacts, serenity pa optimizations. Mm, okay. <laughs> System and function updates. So, all right, so fast equipped artifacts, right off the bat. Following on from the artifact management optimizations to 4.3, we'll be introducing the fast equipped artifacts feature in 4.4. We hope that this helps travelers choose and equip artifact sets more quickly. You can either choose quick loadout or custom loadout when equipping artifacts or with equipping characters with artifacts. So sounds good so far, but how they do it is important. But based off of that, I'm already excited. A set of artifacts will be put together for your reference based on data from recently active players. When generating a loadout, it will only consider artifacts not already equipped by other characters. Don't base it off of like the general percentage. Oh no. You can set the artifact main stat, set type, minor fixes. Um, are they doing it like how it, it already is? You can adjust the artifact set uh, generated by custom loadout according to their own requirements. I mean, yeah, this isn't really what we were asking for, to be honest. Oh, and that's it too? Yeah, that's not really what we were asking for, I'll be honest. That's not... That's not it. That, that This is a more like, let's say you have a piece that has, uh, you know, like a lot of ER, a lot of attack, uh, crit rate, crit damage. You can kind of like set it in in here and it'll find the artifact closest to it. But that's not, that's not what we were asking for. What we wanted was just literally pick the artifact and like pick the preset. Like back in the day playing like MW2 when you would have like, you know, your all your loadouts ready to go. You had presets like you had your UMP 45 and your, you know, whatever. Like it would be like that. But for artifacts, we were looking for that. Like if I had a, a crimson set with an off piece, I would just pick those five artifacts and, and I can name it like Hu Tao set. You know, that's what we were actually looking for. This technically it can work. But this is definitely not what we were asking for. Man, why can't they just like, ah, it's always like, just, it's never like exactly it. And they were doing so good too in 4.3. This is still a step in the right direction. And I definitely appreciate the effort for sure. But yeah, maybe we can look more into it. Maybe I'm a little judgmental of it early, but from what I'm seeing, this is not exactly what we're looking for this is like finding the set for you like auto generated it's actually the opposite we want to do it manually we don't want it to be automatic but uh i mean i guess that's one way of doing it you have quick loadout and custom loadout so quick loadout would just be like what most people are using and custom would be you kind of like set your loadout and then kind of hope that it gets, it's that set, you know? Can you even pick this set? I don't even see the, the main set. I guess that's the screen beforehand. Okay, well, I don't know. I kind of, I'm on a fence on that one. I thought it was just gonna be like, pick it manually, not j auto automatically, but, meh. I guess we'll see it, you know, 4.4 fully, but it sounds like it's not what we wanted exactly. Maybe, maybe we can still make it work though, I guess. I don't know. Certainly teapot optimizations. As the number of furnishings you can place inside your realm has steadily increased, the more companions can be invited. Oh, that, that's actually Pog. That's a that's a that's a good one. Um, even if you don't really use your pot, it's still beneficial to get your character's friendship ten if you want to, or uh, you know, get more of the Primo gems from like having their sets and stuff. The certainty teapot functions have also been further optimized. The following changes will be implemented in four point four. Furnishings have been reorganized into different categories. You can filter and search. Thank you. I was actually looking for that, to be honest. I was looking for like the, just the ability to search because there's a whole lot of furniture, uh, furnishing, furnishing, outdoor furnishing. 
editing screen, list optimizations, and plus same furnishing using the same editing mode, your current position in the list will be remembered. If you will not reset after switching to another, oh, furnishing category. So when you, you go to the right, you go to a different one, I see. Okay, that's useful. That's useful. This only the companion list will now show your companions friendship levels. Oh, okay. That's that dude. Okay, there you go. Nice. For anybody who does use a teapot, even ever so slightly, you will appreciate this stuff. It, you know, I'm always like looking like who who's friendship 10 already? Who's not? You know, so, so I can put them in the in, in the uh, teapot. But that's useful. So now you can see like who you should probably pick to put in your teapot, right? Uh, players who haven't re been invited to your Serenity Pot and whose friendship level has not been reached at max yet will be displayed in a descending order of friendship level. I see. Okay. So from lowest to highest. So that's a teapot. Uh, lingering moment optimization. The display will now prioritize characters with whom you completed the Hangouts event with uh, and unlock the memories as long as the Hangout memories that you already unlocked. Prioritize characters who you completed the Hangout with. Okay, so I guess it's like the, the right order, I guess. The order in which you actually did the events in. Oh, I guess like the more endings you have. I see. Okay. So that's your certainly teapot. Honestly, teapot is a W. That's a W for teapot. You get a search bar, a filter bar, uh, nice optimizations here, and you can see your friendship levels. And there's more companions you can put in there. It still says eight right there, but I'm hoping it'll actually go up. Um... Last but not least, system and function updates adds reminders for collecting adventure encounter rewards. As so the adventure encounter system was made available, we found many travelers have been forgetting the claim on daily commissions. Oh, from Catherine. Okay, yeah, that can happen. The red dot promise has been added in the version 4.4 to remind you to do so, and you select claim rewards, so be guided to Catherine to claim on daily commissions. Okay, nice reminder. And increase the number of a hey, okay. Increase the number of party compositions. So it was ten, but uh, per, currently, 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 and now it's going to be fifteen. That's nice. I was already kind of like running out of space uh, currently, so it's it's nice to have that be fifteen now. Good. So for four point four, it'll be fifteen. I would like a search bar for characters too. Like, can we get a search bar for characters? Optimizes test one challenges. We're trying out new characters. You know, you'll be able to choose a challenge the next character stage without having to exit current stage. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That is much appreciated. And then, yeah, okay, the stuff like this, I, I I appreciate it, but it's like, how? How is that not a thing? I guess it's primarily a mobile game, to be fair, but you know, it being on PC, you would think that would just be there, you know? But adds the borderless mode function. So the borderless mode option has been added to the PC display settings. When playing full screen, you'll be able to stack other windows on both the game. Thank you. That is a huge W. You don't know how annoying it is to like be on Genshin and like, you know, as, as a streamer or as like trying to make videos, stuff like that, or just in general, general play, you're on one monitor and you go to your other monitor, Genshin will just close. So you can't actually see the game anymore. You'd have to, you know, open it again and click on it. So it'll be nice to have it just stay open and then you can go do your stuff on your second monitor. So that'll be useful. Uh, we're still missing those 120 frames, though. <laughs> Optimizes the model precision. We hope to keep improving the precision of our models on a basis of entrust or ins ensuring performance across different platforms. A new dynamic character resolution function will be available on PC and consoles. No, no, no mobile. This utilizes dynamic recognition of object models to increase the precision of models marked area surfaces in real time. I do not see any difference here. I'm sure there's probably something, but I don't see it. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it'll be more evident in, in certain lighting, but it, this picture that they chose, I can't see any difference. I, I don't see anything. And that's the end. All right, so to, rack, to wrap up, to recap, uh, well, it's definitely a step in the right direction. Like I said, you know, with all the talk about Star Rail and, and, and that dev team versus the Genshin dev team and stuff like that, trust me, I definitely appreciate the effort 
I definitely appreciate just any sort of update and, and, and talk to the community. So I definitely appreciate this. But just going over this again to recap. They did it. Asterisk. You know, they, they did it. Technically, I, I guess we have the presets, the custom loadout in, in a way. And this is kind of scary because I think they'll just leave it like this. I think this is their iteration or their version of presets. It's not exactly what we wanted, and I don't think they're going to go any more into it. But they definitely can with this system. We, we talked about how they added the system in, in the current patch now and how they can uh, improve on it. And this is how they did it. But yeah, I think this is probably it. I think this is going to be their idea of presets for artifacts. I don't think they're going to go any further. Um, of course, we as the people can use our voice and hope that they listen. But yeah, we really just want it to be even more simple than they did. You know, like we want it to be a lot more simple than what they currently have in store. We just want to pick our own artifacts and have them as presets. I mean, that that's it. You don't have to have all the generated AI stuff. Like, we just want to pick our artifacts, you know? So I we can maybe work with it, but I am a little disappointed. I kind of wanted just to be able to pick it ourselves. But we'll see. Maybe we can figure it out. If you're somebody who has a lot of artifacts, this might be kind of painful for you and a lot of us. I mean, look at that. That guy has, like, five different rows of gladiator pieces. It's like, how can you exactly choose like pick and choose which one you want so uh, i don't know definitely not what we wanted in, in full but it's a step in the right direction teapot stuff was pog if you actually use your teapots um i use mine so I, I, I do appreciate the updates here that definitely is a nice quality of life and yeah biggest thing for this would be borderless mode and more party invites or more party uh uh slots so i would definitely enjoy the borderless feature um i'll try and look into this in 4.4 see how much it looks different but borderless window for sure is awesome um test run jump to the next one you know that's gonna be nice just little quality of life things so i appreciate here this should always be like the biggest page, the system and function stuff, you know, so appreciate the, the you know, the picture, appreciate the more party party uh, slots, the test run, uh, you know, just jump into each one. Teapot stuff is nice. And then I guess we'll just have to play around with the artifacts and see how that goes. But overall, once again, I mean, any sort of quality of life update is a W, let's be honest. And um just wish they would have done it more manually so so we could do it ourselves with the artifacts but what are you gonna do let's see what you the comments are saying much of the archon quest in the game it's not an option yet only took three and a half years i mean it's it's, it's still not even it's still not even it though <laughs> let's say multiple odds for each character not just one. Ooh, that's a good point too I, I hope that's not the way it is, actually. Yeah, this guy knows that's not it's not exactly what we wanted. It's automatic. Yeah, and it's in Honkai Impact there. That's true. So it's so weird because it's like it all this stuff is in their other games. It's just like the Genshin dev team is just like the Genshin dev team is like Nintendo. It's like Xbox and PlayStation have the, had the HDMI cords and all the like modern stuff and Nintendo is just like two years behind. That's almost like what it's like. It's like Honkai is PlayStation and Xbox and Genshin the Nintendo. They're just like <laughs> behind a little bit. More details, it's, it's more smooth. Ah oh, man, so you can't even save multiple either. I mean, they are going step by step, but yeah, no Android controller support. So really indifferent and a little upset for, for most people down here, but, and it's not even necessarily a real one. We'll see how it goes. What do you guys think about it in the comments? Let me know. We think you'll be using this stuff yourself. 
probably maybe but anyways we'll see that'll be all for me i'm uh i'm, I'm more happy than sad i'll say that at least but yeah <laughs> i don't know but i'll be all for me and uh i guess i will catch you guys in the next one <laughs>